fighting graffiti one tag at a time. Fox San Antonio's Joe Galley is live on the north side with the exclusive story of how a former tagger is turning his life around while helping keep the city beautiful. Ryan, Jessica, the graffiti you see behind me is just a small taste of the vandalism that runs all along this wall. Now one man is standing against it with nothing but paint and a paintbrush. Doing it like this is just the absolute wrong way to do it. No cape, no superpowers, just a man keeping the city clean from villains of vandalism. He goes by Pro Art Anti Graffiti on Instagram, and he is a reformed tagger. And I would just make my own stickers and kind of just put them in places. I would use Sharpie and put them in, you know, on gas stations and in walls and stuff. I was a real delinquent. He says he saw the error of his ways and now travels with this. Well, this is what I generally use to just cover up the big tags. A trunk full of paint, rollers, and brushes to clean up walls around the city. He posts before and after pictures on his Instagram account. I saw that you can actually pick up paint and safe wipes and, and all these other tools to just take care of it yourself if you can. The wall is next to Euro Car Care, and the owner says tagging has a negative impact on his business. And the graffiti is usually everybody relates to to either gangs or some something that's not not welcome in the city. According to the anti-graffiti crusader, it doesn't take much for people to get the city to clean up the streets. Just report it by calling 311. And the city is also very busy cleaning up graffiti just like the stuff that you see behind me. Just last year, they covered up more than 52,000 tags at a cost of 1.4 million dollars. Joe Galley, Fox News at 9.